Hello guys, what's up? The code to the keys here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Deno and see top five features of the Deno compared to Node.js. Deno is a simple, modern and secure runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript that uses V8 engine and is built with Rust. It was created by the same guy, Ryan Dahl, who created Node.js. It was released two days ago, but it's getting very popular already. According to GitHub stars, it's getting about 1000 stars in a day, which is not a small amount. Many people are considering Deno as a replacement of Node.js, which in my opinion is not that easy. Replacing a language which is used in by millions of developers uh, is not an easy thing to do, even that it's better than Node.js, at least the creator of the Deno is the, the purpose of the creating Deno was to make it better than Node.js. It is better in some cases, but I would say uh, it's not very easy to replace Node.js, which is used by millions of developers for sure. In this video, I'm going to show you top five features. So let's install Deno and have a look at the editor. So let's go to the Deno website and click the install button. Down below we have the installation instructions. It gives you correct installation instructions according your operating system. So I'm going to copy the following code, open PowerShell, paste the code right here and hit the enter. I have actually already hit the enter and installed Deno locally. So after this is done, you just need to type Deno in your PowerShell immediately and it will give the following output, which means that you are in Deno runtime. So one plus one is two. Console log hello gives us hello result. This is the installation instructions on Linux or Mac OS. So I'm going to copy the following code, open terminal and run it right here. It downloads the Deno and installs in your computer. However, we need to manually add the directory to our uh, home bash profile. So I'm going to copy the following two lines and I'm going to open my home directories bash uh, RC. So on Linux, probably it is bash RC. On Mac OS, it might be bash profile. Okay, so I'm going to open bash RC and at the very bottom, I'm going to paste these two lines, save, and then to close the terminal and open it. And when I run Deno, I'm in Deno environment. We have successfully installed Deno. Now let's move into editor. Right here, I have prepared five files and I'm going to go through these files and explain each feature. The number one feature is that Deno supports TypeScript out of the box. So if we have a look at the Deno homepage right here, we see a secure runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript. TypeScript support is built in inside the Deno. So here is my TypeScript file and I'm creating a variable. I'm creating a function which accepts a string and returns a string. Everything basically right here is a TypeScript features. And then I'm printing the result of this hello function. Let's open terminal and I'm going to run Deno run feature1.ts, hit the enter, it will compile this and then execute and I see the output hello from the code holic. Feature number two, we have possibility in Deno to import scripts from the URL. For example, this is the URL from which I'm importing the following four functions. The functions basically do some changes the, uh, to the output of the console, okay? And I'm, I have four console statements and each of them purpose is just to print a different color. This one will print green, blue, bold, underline and green. Let's have a look in the terminal. Deno run feature2.js, hit the enter and I see these different color outputs. But the purpose of this file is to show that we can actually actually import codes from remote. If I run this file from uh, using node.js, node feature 2, I see the following error, cannot use import statement outside the module. Feature number 3 is that we can now use top level await. What does this mean? When we write await, generally the await must be written inside 
a synchronous function. But in Deno, we don't need this. Everything basically is a run in an asynchronous function itself. If I run this right now using Node.js first, feature 3, hit the enter, I see the following error. Evade is only valid in async function. However, if I run this using Deno, Deno run feature 3, then I get the output 1 to 3. Right here, I'm just creating a promise uh, and returning from this get promise, and I'm awaiting the result of this promise right here. Feature number four, security. According to the, what they say, a secure runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript means that we have much more security than we had in Node.js. So if I, then we have in Node.js, Node.js is here. It doesn't go anywhere at all. So uh, I'm going to run deno run feature 4 and right here I have permission denied error. Read access to this sample txt which I'm trying to read in this file. Run again with minus minus hello read flag. Okay? This is the uh, this is the security which comes out of the box on deno. So if I just run the same code now with minus minus hello read, then I'm basically giving the reading permission to this feature 4.js and it is possible to read this sample txt and just print the output in the console. And the sample txt is nothing else, just simple file which has this lorem ipsum written inside. The feature number five is that now Deno supports all the browser API functions like fetch API, set timeout, set interval. Right here, I'm fetching the JSON placeholder to do, which if I open this in the browser is nothing else, just a simple, simple JSON. So I'm fetching this, awaiting the to do, and this is going to be an object. I'm also calling set timeout and set interval. And let's have a look in the terminal. Deno run feature 5.js, hit the enter. And first of all, I see a permission denied because I'm using network right here, fetching something. So I need to allow network. Okay. So right here, I need a flag minus minus hello net, hit the enter. Then it fetches this one, and here is my JSON. Okay, then it prints this search interval, set timeout, and search interval in every every one second. Now, here I have a file which supports all five features. First of all, it is written inside TypeScript. Second, we are importing the code from URL, this HTTP server. Then we are running basically local server, which needs permission of minus minus hello net. Then we have feature number four, which supports global await, top level await, in feature number five, we are fetching something from this JSON placeholder and returning it to the user. Let's run this in the terminal. Deno run all features. Hit the enter. It downloads this HTTP server. But error, we have an error. The error basically says that we need to run with minus minus hello net. Hit the enter. It asks the following pop up. If it's the first time, hello. Now, if I open localhost on port 8000, I see the following JSON, which is fetched using fetch API. That's it for this video, guys. Now you know what is Deno, how to install, and what are its top five features. Maybe you need to hit the like button and subscribe and the bell buttons to be informed videos like this. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Deno in general. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.